This is the Nest Protect. Is this the future of smoke and carbon monoxide detection? That's what we're here to find out. What's good, Smarty Pants? I'm Malik. And I'm Walanda. Today we'll be discussing the Nest Protect. The Nest Protect is a Wi-Fi enabled intelligent smoke and carbon monoxide detector. It has several features that differentiate it from your everyday run-of-the-mill smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. It has an industrial grade smoke sensor, tests itself automatically and lasts up to a decade. The Nest app is available on Android and iOS devices and allows you to control your Nest devices from anywhere you have a Wi-Fi, 3G, or 4G connection. When it is dark in your home, Nest Protect lights up as you walk underneath it. So you don't end up with a stub toe during those late night trips for a midnight snack. Nest Protect gives you an early warning so that you can handle the simple things like burning toast before it becomes a burning kitchen. It also tells you where the danger is. When one speaks, they all speak. So the alarm in your bedroom can tell you when there is carbon monoxide or smoke in another room. You can get alerts on your phone when you're away from home and you can turn off the alarm from your phone as well. The Nest Protect works with other devices to make things simpler for you. It works with the Nest thermostat and Rheem water heater. When smoke or carbon monoxide is detected, Nest Protect will send a signal to these devices to turn them off. This helps to minimize damage to your home and injury to your family. It works with Nest Cam to tell you how the alarm was triggered. If your Nest Protect senses smoke or carbon monoxide, Nest Cam will start recording so you can go back and see what happened. Nest Protect is also IFTTT compatible. IFTTT allows you to set up or create applets for making devices turn on or send push notifications when a Nest Protect alarm is triggered. If you want more info and pricing on the Nest Protect, check out the link in the video description. It is an affiliate link. If you use it to buy the Nest Protect, you will pay the same price as if you went directly to Amazon. We will receive a small commission which helps us continue to make videos for you. Now that we got all of that techie stuff out of the way, let's set this puppy up. First, we need to download and install the Nest app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. So I'm going to go to the App Store on my phone. And if we go to search, we can type in Nest. And then here's where the app will be. It'll say Get. But since I already have it, it says open. So why don't I just go ahead and open this bad boy up? So now that I have the Nest app open, I'm going to tap on the cog wheel up on the upper right corner. Then I'm going to go to add product and I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to tap on Nest Protect. Now I already have a Nest thermostat and two other Nest Protects as part of my um, home automation system. So it should recognize all of the devices and link them up together. So I'm going to tap on Nest Protect. And I'm going to scan the QR code. It tells us what type of tools we're going to need. Password, ladder, screwdriver. I'm going to tap on next. It's going to ask me to choose the space where it's at. And I'm going to tap office. Now it's going to connect to the Nest Protects that are already set up. So I need to go to another one of my Nest products and tap on that until the ring glows blue. So I'll be right back. So I tapped on one of the Nest Protects in my home. Now I'm going to tap next. So now I need to pull out the battery tab on the current Nest that I have and follow the instructions to set that up. Hi, 
from Nest. Hola, saludos de Nest. Press the button now for English. Ready. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. The test is finished. Everything looks good. All right, so now that all of that's done, I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. And now the beauty of this setup is that since it's connecting to the other devices with what's called interconnect, I didn't need to go ahead and do any of the Wi-Fi setup. It went ahead and did all of that for me. So that's pretty awesome. Now it's going to ask me if I like to use Pathlight. Now what this does is it turns on whenever you walk underneath or, or near the, the uh, smoke detector when it's dark so that it lights up a pathway for you. And we, we like that, so I'm going to... Go ahead and leave it on and tap next. Connected. All right, so the setup for this Nest Protect is complete. I don't have another Nest Protect to do right now, so I'm going to tap on next. And now it's going to ask me if I want to set up sound check. And what this is, is a Nest test the sensors for sound, power, and Wi-Fi every month. And um, it tests the alarm and all that. And it does it silently so that you don't have to worry about the fact that the, it's going off and testing while you're trying to do something. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't really care about a preferred time, so I'm just going to tap on next. So now I need to go ahead and install the device on the ceiling. Let's go ahead and knock that out. So the first thing we need to do is switch off the circuit breaker for the room where we're installing the Nest Protect or remove the fuse from the fuse box. Now when you do that, the green light that's on should turn off. To prevent electrical shock, make sure that the green power light is off on the alarm that you're replacing. If that light is on, something's wrong, don't go forward, wait until that light is off and you're sure the power is off. Now that the power light's off, let's go ahead and twist the smoke alarm to remove it from the ceiling. And then unscrew the back plate. Keep the screws so that you can use them when you put the Nest Protect up. Unscrew the caps to disconnect the wiring from the smoke detector. Take the wire assembly from the Nest packaging and the wire nuts and connect the white wire to the white wire from the ceiling. Cap it with one of the wire nuts. Then do the same thing with the black wires. If you have a yellow, orange, or red wire, simply put a wire nut on it and cap it off because you do not need that wire. Then push the wires back up into the box. 
leave the connector out for your nest protect. Remove the paper from the back of the nest back plate. And using the screw that you took out, connect the nest back plate to the box. Be sure to run the wire through the middle hole of the back plate. Plug the wire into the nest protect. Push the wire up into the hole, best that you can, and then match the notches on the bottom of the nest protect with the openings on the back plate. Once they're lined up, go ahead and turn the nest protect clockwise. If you need to, you can adjust it by continuing to turn it clockwise or counterclockwise until you have it in the position that you like. Next, we're ready to test the Nest Protect. Press the button on the Nest, and every Nest in your house will tell you what to do next. Heads up, the power is out. In the office. Ready, in the office. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, cancel. Now that we're all done, all we need to do is turn the power back on and we're good to go. All right, now that the power's back on and the Nest Protect is installed on our ceiling, we can go back to the app and tap Next. Now we'll tap Next again to do a checkup. says that the setup is complete. All right, babe, we've had these devices in our home for a while now. So what's your favorite thing about the Nest Protect? I like when I'm walking around late at night, it lights up as I walk by. So that way I don't trip or run into any of our tables. I'm a little clumsy. Yeah. A, a little bit, just a wee bit. So we got the opinion of the one that matters the most. So let's talk a little bit about the functionality of the device. Now, this is a monitoring device, so the less you hear from it, the better off you are. That means that if you're not hearing it, you must not have any smoke or carbon monoxide problems in your house. Or if you do and you didn't hear anything, then the damn thing ain't working. So luckily for us, we haven't had anything triggered and we're still alive. And we know that it is working because the system actually tests itself and you get notifications sent to your phone whenever it tests the sound, the alarm, its voice. So all of those things you actually know about and you know that it's monitoring it, sending you notifications and checking to make sure that the system will work if there is smoke or if there is uh, carbon monoxide. Now with a regular smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector, you don't get those tests on a regular basis. So you don't know, hey, is this thing working or is it just sitting up on my ceiling with a light on? So, hey, it's a great thing to know that the system's actually working. Now, in our home, the connection to Wi-Fi has been strong and there's been no drops in the connection. So, with all that being said about the functionality, do you recommend this device, babe? Definitely recommend. All right. I do too. Now, if you have the Nest Protect, we'd love to hear about your experience in the comments section below. Now, if you're thinking about getting it and you're not sure, we'd love to hear your opinion and any research that you've done on the device in the comment section below as well. Thanks for watching this video, Smarty Pants. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye.